Morning guys, how are we all doing? So Dan from Trading with Dan here. So this is our Bitcoin morning update. So go over to the charts. So yeah, you can see we've had a bit of a move down um, along with the stock markets, which we, um, which basically is what we said when in last night's video was what we're going to have to look out for. We're going to take our lead from the stock markets and they are potentially at a support zone now. Um, we did speak about um, the S&P last night, um, about how the 618 is obviously the first target in this horizontal. Um, if we can get supported here, um, then yeah, potentially we can get a bounce back up and that will potentially be good for Bitcoin, but um, we'll have to see how it works. Um, any bounce in the stock market can pretty much probably get sold into um, around these levels anyway um, just for a um, a lower high but we'll have to see what happens with that but over to Bitcoin um, yes yeah, so you can see um, our um, our our triangle is in jeopardy um, you can see we've actually did close a four hour below it um, albeit a long a long wick down on the four hour candle so um, that has obviously got bought back up um, so that is um, at least <laughs> a tiny bit of um, bullish hope there um, but but I would say on these next next two four hour candles this one ending in well in nearly three hours um, if we don't if we aren't back in inside this trend line and back above 9200 then I, I think we are going to basically see follow through to the downside with this um, again um, if, if stock markets have a massive rally that will probably pull us up and if stock markets go down then that will probably pull us down but that will obviously be reflected in our price action so if stock markets go down and we stay below here for the next two for our candles then yeah we'll be going down um, most likely um, and then if stock markets mount a stage of rally and then we get back above um, 9200 then I think we can have, we'll have a good shot at getting a good shot at um, getting back um, well back to 9500 and then if you get back through there and back to the top so I mean it always looks it always looks bad when you're at the bottom it always looks like you're gonna break down um, and potentially we can um, but we still it's, it's, it's not over yet we're not we've not closed any candles um, below 9k yet and uh, for our candles at least um, or even um, yeah or even within a hundred dollars of 9k um, so um, it's not it's not over yet basically guys but like I said I don't think Bitcoin's fates in its own hands um, it is down in the stock market so um, I mean make of that what you will but my um, my um, my view on the stock market is, is definitely more weakness so so yeah so obviously formations aside they're only a percentage chance of breaking up a high percentage chance of breaking to the upside and ascending triangles so obviously it doesn't mean we can't break to the downside um and yeah we got we're gonna have pretty clear um defined levels anyway i think basically closing closing a a four hour candle um below um well below nine thousand um and then i think then i think the real selling will start to probably come in um and then bitcoin will um We'll have to find support at a lower area, and um, that selling will likely accelerate. Um, right, likely accelerate once you break um, below um, the 8,600 area, and then um, yeah, we'll have some few bounces down here, um, no doubt. But um, we'll have to see. Um, we'll just have to observe price action as we go um, before we can see that. Um, a level for us to potentially turn around at, but even then again, I think that might maybe um, may depend on what the stock markets do. I mean, look, with stock markets had the big sell off last time, that was the big sell off down here, and the stock markets had the big rally off the bottom, and that was basically this this rally that we've had here. So, anybody that's trying to tell you that um, that all the all the all the craziness that's going on in the world that's potentially weighing on stock markets is, is good for Bitcoin is. Um, is, is is slightly deluded so um yeah so yeah i mean so there we go so let's hope hope we get some um we get some um some relief in relief in the in the equity market sell-off but yeah 12 hours four hours stokes obviously pointing down eight hours pointing down um 12 hours sort of cross but now they basically look like they're resuming back down um and then daily is is pointing down now as well so <clears throat> it's all it is all looking pretty bearish guys um, it is all looking pretty get bearish. Um, we've obviously played out this zone. We've obviously had this rally. Um, we played out this zone for long enough now for the trend. If it does then want to start to come down, it, it would be perfectly reasonable um, for it to to do so and it not look um, sort of like a, an outlier oddity in the chart. 
Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it, it's a definite risk now, and we're definitely at a point, an inflection point. Um, like I said in last night's video, an inflection point in in the major markets, which is this is then obviously um, an inflection point on the Bitcoin market. So yeah, um, so not 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 <laughs> not ideal to to say the least. Um, we'll have a look at the um, DMT and um dominator so yeah you can see we did have that bit of flip flopping around but eventually um it decided on the direction and dominator clearly got you the move down so that's obviously great to see um dmt still in the cell from here so that's clearly got you the the move down as well so um yeah not not much really <laughs> not much really to say on that um other than um yeah other than basically great signals on those um, and then range and stop is like I said, it's not the most useful when we're not ranging. But um, if we do start to start to start to play out this area, um, it could be it could become a bit more useful because at some point we are potentially going to have to consolidate. Um, if we're going to move up, um, we'll have to consolidate before we move up. Um, or if we're going to continue down, um, I would expect um, us to consolidate in this zone. Um, especially whilst stocks are still higher than what their futures traded at today. Um, so basically, if we go over to this, we'll go over to a 30-minute uh, chart. Um, so, whilst, so whilst ever stocks on here are trading above this um, this roughly uh, 2940 level, they're currently at 2980, so that's 40 points higher. Whilst ever, until we take out this low, which is the 618, um, which um, um, until we take out this low, um i would expect uh bitcoin to potentially just trade 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 in a zone um trade trade quite possibly in this zone here from basically um just under nine thousand to um to nine thousand two hundred um, and then if we start to get more of a convincing move up in stocks um then yeah bitcoin can potentially make a more convincing move up but um but yeah and then obviously taking out of that range will probably coincide with a taking out of this level and trading lower so Gotta keep our eye on stocks, really. Um, like I, like I do like to like to say, um, just because it's just is the case, and we just have to be, we have to be realistic about it. But um, but yeah, but yeah. So far as this triangle, I mean, obviously, you know, you guys know, whenever you draw a triangle, there's different. There's, it can be slightly different. We could still mark this out as we're still in it. Um, we could we could we could slightly adjust the line. I'm not going to do it. Um, I mean, just be aware of. I always say the trend lines are not necessarily exactly where they should be. I mean, you could pull this down lower to include those bodies, and we'll be a bit lower. Um, yeah, there's plenty of plenty of ways you can adjust it. I mean, just for example, I'm not going to um, leave it like this, but just for example, I'm just going to show you. I mean, I mean that there's nothing wrong with how that looks as an ascending triangle, also. Um, but I don't want to. I don't want to get in the business of just adjusting formations as we go through. So um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, it'll be an interesting week. It'll be an interesting week for stock markets. Interesting week for Bitcoin. Um, let's hope. Um, let's hope for Bitcoin's sake that we can um, get some um, get some bullish price action. Start to look like a like a perfect ascending triangle, and then give ourselves the best chance of best chance of breaking up. But um, yeah, obviously we've got clear defined levels um, now to the downside. I mean, closing closing below nine thousand, um, I think is uh, pretty much going to be um, is going to confirm the resolution of this uh, formation to the downside. Um, in which case, I mean, I can't see us realistically um, holding holding eight k ultimately, and this would be the first um, higher probability um, sort of catch zone catch zone for BTC. Um, so right, yeah, so there we go guys. Remember it's not a financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research and I will speak to you guys soon.